Hi there, welcome to Transfer Talk. 10 hours left in the window in England and Liverpool is the focus. The Premier League champions are after not one, but two centre-backs this deadline day. Will time run out though? The countdown is on. This is Transfer Talk. They play four of the top six, starting with Arsenal live on Sky Sports this Sunday. Crystal Palace are actually training this morning, but thankfully Roy Hodgson has stopped to have a quick chat with us here live on Sky Sports News. Roy, thank you very much for your time. Pleasure. I know you were really disappointed after the uh, Everton defeat, but what sort of positives can you take going into the Arsenal game? Oh, I'm afraid I've been pretty disappointed after several of the defeats. We hear now that uh, Roberto Firmino has got a serious hamstring injury, so that might alter their plans. But I mean, they've got some great players to come in, haven't they? I thought I was hoping you were going to say Sal and uh, Manny with, with that situation, but uh, unfortunately not. Is the international setup something that you aspire to? And uh, obviously, you're captain the under 21s as well. Yeah, it's a massive honour for me to do that. Um, and there's a pathway for young lads as well into, into the England first team as well, which is nice. So I've just got to keep working hard and you know, hopefully I'll get the under. If you're a new viewer, welcome. And if you are one of our regulars during this window, welcome back. We always start the show on a Monday with Mr Transfers. It's our regular guest, Fabrizio Romano, joins us live on deadline day. Fabrizio, thank you very much for your time. I mean, it's Christmas Day for you, isn't it, really? Your phone <laughs> mustn't stop ringing today. Yes, that's it. Hello, guys. Happy to be with you. It's a landmark ruling as Birmingham become the first club to be punished under the EFL's profitability and sustainability rules. They were brought in in 2016-17 and meant that clubs couldn't lose more than £39 million over a three-year period. Birmingham breached those rules by just under £10 million. How have Hampshire themselves reacted to this news? I think they've reacted like uh, many of us across the sporting world this afternoon and this evening. I think it started with shock as the news broke this afternoon and it's turned into a little bit of numbness really this evening as the news starts to, to set in. Thank you very much, Kevin, for your time on a, on a very sad day for Hampshire Cricket Club. When he left here, Shane Warne said that this was his second home. Well, his second home is in mourning tonight. Evening to you, Dave. What's happened? And uh, with just over an hour to go, is there any chance of a, a late signing, maybe? Well, I'd love to bring Wolves fans a little bit more exciting news, but spoiler alert, it's going to be pretty quiet. All their incoming business has been concluded for this January transfer window. It brings to an end a magnificent playing career, Manchester United yeah. and England's all-time leading goal scorer. And he is now fully concentrating on becoming a successful manager at Derby County. We are going to bring you plenty more reaction here on Sky Sports News. It's the end of an era for Wayne Rooney, but a new one is starting. More next.